I mean, if, if we want transformation for women, especially economically, to occur, the South African construction and mining industries need to provide adequate work opportunities for them in compliance with policies and legislation. I mean, we know women representation in the industry needs to increase, but are you able to maybe give me a bit more of an accurate reflection of the number of professional females in this space? And then obviously we know um, that you work specifically within the mineral resource space in the sector. Do you find that this sector or, or this space to have the same lack of women representation or, or is it a bit more dire than what people are aware of? In general, the percentage of women in, in construction and mining from the from 1996 when women started showing up in the mining construction industries has hovered around 9 to 10%. From Stats SA for 2019, the quarter three, we've seen that there has been a slight increase. So at the current time, what we have on um, uh, um, on the um, uh, stats is saying that women uh, representation within the construction industry is hovering around 11%. In terms of the mineral resource industry, which plays both into the mining and the construction sector, we it is pretty much the same as the rest of the industry. So there is a, a, a representation of women, but it's slow, and it is, I would say, pretty much the same around the 10, 11% across the board in mining and in construction. So it is slow, but it is definitely increasing. What could companies such as Afrisam actually do to to maybe assist or, or to improve the situation? I mean, what sort of initiatives um, does Akusan have that speaks to including more women in its operations and company? For me, I believe the first steps were developing a company gender awareness policy. We need to understand what exactly does gender equality mean. I think we kind of take it very much at face value and say, yeah, uh, women empowerment, we need to have, we need to understand exactly what the gender equality both states, it kind of puts us on very equal footing. Secondly, we need to start having a look at our policies and systems and companies. And Afri Sam has. We have a um, woman in mining um, a forum, which kind of also uh, deals with the woman that's in construction. So together, we have a forum where we meet on a regular basis, where women's needs are uh, addressed. So from an Afri Sam perspective, very much the woman in the workplace is at the forefront. Not to say that it is 100% addressed, we have addressed all the issues, but for certainly we are addressing them currently. So women, the voices of women are being heard, the working environment of women are being seen to where there's lack of facilities, they are being addressed. So as a company, we definitely have started, maybe late, but we have definitely started address, addressing the needs of women in the work. How would you encourage women to consider a career in construction or even a career in mineral resources in the construction space? I mean, what attracted you to this sector? I must be honest, I was one of the lucky few that actually liked the math and sciences. So for me, it came naturally. I, I had a dad who was a teacher who pushed towards it. So, And I, um, I wanted to be, I wanted to kind of challenge the fact that where people said women couldn't. So by profession, I'm a geologist. And I was interviewed when I was in Standard 9 by a group of uh, geologists who said that it was a male area and women generally don't go towards geology. So I chose my career to defy the myth that women couldn't. So I'm in the industry kind of to prove that women can actually do it. And I must say, having chosen to be a geologist, I'd never choose anything else. I love my job. I love where it's gotten me thus far. And I think that for more women to get it, the majority must begin advocating for the minority. So we have to get our male counterparts to believe in us. Women, as women, we also must embrace standing out. We're gonna be different in a male-dominated environment and it's okay, it's good, it's good for us to stand out. And as we stand out, we'll kind of be mentors for other women to be able to see us and to be able to see the career as something that they can do. It's important for the industry to amplify, amplify the voice of women that are currently there. So women that are currently in the mining industry, it's important for companies to kind of advocate those women that have actually made it. And I'm not saying that it's important for women to hold the highest of jobs because at this point of time, when we kind of talk about women empowerment, we, are, we generally look towards 
how many women are sitting on boards, how many women are sitting in executive positions, and it's not just that. Because we need to start, if we look at the number of women globally, I'm not just talking in South Africa, but globally that sit on boards and sit in executive positions, it has increased dramatically knowing that we've only been allowed in the industry for such a small period of time. And there's so many women that have made it to those positions. If we kind of now attract more younger women into the, the, the uh, lower skill job, the opportunity for them to grow in five to ten years time into those executive positions are phenomenal and women can and they will but it's important that we as women blaze our own career paths in the construction and mining so it's really up to us it's up to women like myself who are already in the industry to kind of uplift and promote other women from coming into the industry